Hey everybody, I'm Ted from Tabex. In this tutorial, we are going to monetize our game server. You will run through this process when signing up to Tabex or anytime you add a new web store to your account. Since we want to monetize our game server, we're going to select the left option. You want to select the left option if you want to connect a game server that uses a authentication system. In this tutorial, we will be using Minecraft. So this will use the Microsoft or Mojang authentication system. And for example, a game like Rust will use the Steam authentication system. So let's select the left option. And as it says, this is perfect for in-game products, subscriptions, scripts, mods, game assets, and more. We then have to select what kind of game server we are running. In this tutorial, I will use Minecraft, but the steps will be the same for any of the games that we support. Since I'm using Minecraft, I have an extra step to choose what version of Minecraft am I running on my server. In my case, this is the Java edition. If you're unsure what to select here, click through and see what changes and make sure that you choose the proper version. So let's click on continue. Let's then give the project a name. If we already have an existing URL for our website, we can also fill that in here. Let's click on continue. We then need to connect our game server to our Tabex web store. In our case, we are running a bucket server. So let's download the bucket version of the plugin. We then need to place this inside of our plugins directory and boot up the server. As you can see, I dropped the plugin inside of my plugins folder. Then after booting up our server, you can see here, enabling Tabex. Welcome to Tabex. It seems like this is a new setup. To get started, please use the Tabex secret key command in the console. Conveniently, we can copy that command directly from Tabex, go back to our console, paste it in here. And after doing that, you can now see we are connected. It says type slash bycraft in game. If no errors are displayed, you have successfully linked your web store to your server. So with my server now running, I'm going to leave this page open. Let's connect to the server and see if we can do slash bycraft in game. I'm connected to my server. Let's do slash bycraft. And it says, welcome to Tabex. This server is running version 2.0.0. So we are now connected successfully. Let's click on continue. We then get a message saying you're one step closer to monetizing your game. To get started, please proceed to continue with the setup steps. Once you've completed the setup process, we will review your store and you'll be monetizing in no time. So let's click on get started. I won't be continuing the store setup. I will continue the delivery setup. As the message says, you need to run through these steps before we can start reviewing the store, before you can actually start accepting payments. One of the steps is create a package. So let's click on go to packages. Here we are creating our first package. Before we start actually making the package, I quickly want to show you what you are making. This is our demo store. If you look on the left, this would be your categories. And then inside of, for example, the bundles category, we have four different packages. Customers can then click on the packages and it will show more information about what is actually inside of the package. There always needs to be a proper description of what is being delivered to the customer. So the packages are your actual products that are listed on the web store. So we start off by giving our package the basic information. So we give it a name, a proper description. We select what category and we also select the price and what kind of payment we are accepting. In our case, we want to deliver a game server command. So let's select that as a deliverable and then let's add our first command. And this really depends on what you want to do. As a demonstration, I'm going to simply just run the command, say hello when the package is purchased. As a second command, I wanted to say thank you to the people who are supporting the server. So the command is say thank you Tabex Academy for supporting the server. Tabex Academy is my username. Of course, we want this to be the username of whoever purchased the package. We can use something called a variable. If we click on help and scroll down, we can see that for Minecraft Java, we can use the name variable. So let's replace my username with the name variable. And then that name variable will automatically change to whoever logged into your web store. This is also how you make sure that the correct player gets the item. For example, we can figure out what the give command is for our game. In our case with Minecraft, it's give, then the username, then the item, and then the amount. We can do the same thing, replace the username with the name variable, and this will automatically work. On the game server, we need to select the game server we just created. And then let's create our package. Package successfully created. Let's take a look at our web store. Let's go to packages. We can see our VIP plus package, our description. We didn't add a image. We can also log in on our web store. If I put in my username, you can see that I'm logged in on my username. So now if I would purchase this package, my username would automatically be replaced by the variable. Hopefully this was helpful. If you want more information about the options you have when creating a package, 
or how to create more advanced packages, take a look in the video description. And as always, thank you for watching and good luck with your Tabex store. If you're not done watching yet, you can click here on the right for our latest release or on the left for something that we think suits you best. If you think I want even more, of course, feel free to subscribe. This way you will be notified when we release new content every Friday. And as always, thank you for watching and good luck with your Tabex store.